Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Ferguson. Today we're working on skills unit five, lesson 16. And by the end of this lesson, you should be able to say short vowel sounds, say letter sounds, read the tricky words, and point and read from left to right. So we're going to start today off by reviewing our short vowel sounds. What short vowel is this? That's right, eh. And to remember the eh sound, you can place your finger below your lips like this and say eh. Let's do that three times. Are you ready? Eh, eh, eh. Good. And this short vowel is, that's right, eh. And to remember the eh sound, we can pretend not to hear. So let's do that three times. Are you ready? Eh, eh, eh. Good. And this short vowel is, that's right, Eh. And to remember the eh sound, we can pretend to cry. Let's do that three times. Are you ready? Eh, eh, eh. Good job. And this short vowel is, you got it, uh. And to remember the uh sound, we can raise both of our arms above our head. So let's do that three times. Are you ready? Uh, uh, uh. Good. And the last short vowel sound is, that's right, ah. And to remember the ah sound, we can open our mouth wide, take our pointer finger, and make a circle around it. So let's do that three times. Are you ready? Ah, ah, ah. Good. Okay, let's review all the sounds we've learned so far this year. Let's say them together. M, mm, a, ah, t, d. Ah, k, g, e, n, p, s, p, v, z, p, e, b, o, r, a. w. J, y, x, k. Excellent job with those sounds. Now it's time to review our tricky words. Let's review them together. One, two, three, the, a, and blue, yellow, look. Great job. Now, like I said before, remember, it may seem like we're doing that a lot, but we do a lot of repeating just so we can remember. So practice makes perfect. So we're going to practice, practice, practice. So with that being said, we are going to play sound sprints again. So for this activity, I'm going to say a sound, and your job is to point to the job, the sound that I say on the screen. Are you ready? Okay. The first sound is v. Where's the v? You got it. The next one is z. Where's the z sound? That's right, z. The next sound is where is the k sound? That's right. K. Nice job. And the next one is i. Eh. Where is the i eh sound? That's right. i. Eh. The next sound is p. Where is the p sound? You got it. P. The next sound is s. Where is the s sound? Great job. S. The next sound is f. Where is the f sound? Yes, great job. The next sound is er. Where's the er sound? That's right, er. The next sound is x. Where is the x sound? That's right, x. I 
can't trick you. And the last sound is, where is the sound? You got it. Pat yourselves on the back. We know these sounds, huh? Today, we're going to practice reading Ox and Mannigan because we're such good readers. I wanted to practice again. So this part of the book here, do you remember what this part of the book is called? That's right, it is the front cover. And down there by the purple arrow, what are those words? That's right, the title. And the title of this book is Ox and Man. Very good. And my purple arrow is now pointing to the picture of the what? That's right, the ox. And the ox is kind of like what animal? That's right, cow. So the ox is kind of like the cow. Do you remember the job of an ox? What does an ox do? Yes, that's right. It's used to do different kinds of work, like pulling a wagon or a car or plowing fields on a farm. Good job. Great memories. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to read it first. You're going to listen, and then we're going to read together. Are you ready? Ox ran and ran. Jin ran at him. But Ox ran on. Kim had him. But Ox ran on. Min fed Ox. And led him. And sat on him. All right. Such a good story. It gets me every single time. So now we're going to read it again, but this time you're going to read it with me. But before we read, let's review a couple of things. So what are all of those words made up of? That's right. They're all in a sentence. So this is a sentence. And in a sentence, it always starts with what? That's right, an uppercase letter. And it ends in... That's right, a punctuation, and this punctuation is called a period. Very good. All right, so let's read the story together. Follow along. We're going to read from left to right. Ox ran and ran. Jin ran at him, but Ox ran on. Kim had him, but ox ran on. Men fed ox and led him and sat on him. Excellent reading, boys and girls. I'm so proud. So now we're going to answer a couple questions about the story. And remember, if you are having a tough time remembering, it's okay to rewind the video and look back in the story to help figure out what the answer is, okay? So what happened to Kim when he grabbed the ox's horns? What happened to him when he grabbed those horns? That's right, Kim fell down. Poor Kim. Nice job with that question. Now I need you to head over to Skills Unit 5, Lesson 16, and fill out that Google form. Great job today, everyone. Keep up the good work. I'm so proud of you.